Hi guys, okay so we are now at the stage where our bike is like this and uh, what I'm going to do, I've mounted a uh, bolt on the front of it and I'm going to put some little uh, straps on later. So this is what we've got, if you notice I've already put in one boot. Now you may have to file down one side or sculpt down one side so let's just have a look uh, in order for this to fit. It didn't have to on the other one because uh, Obviously this bit's a lot wider uh, on the other one uh, because I messed that bit up. It's uh, a little bit tighter. So, and you'll notice I've just clipped down the edges on there and there as well. Just makes it look a bit neater, I suppose. Um, okay, so we're gonna stick the legs on. So I've already clipped the legs and basically this is what we've got to fill up. So it's quite a bit of stuff. Um, now, the reason why we're doing this is because the legs have to be back a little bit. If they're not, they're going to be slightly forward. And it needs to be resting, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, on the back there, on the raised pedal. Because we've reversed the whole pedal system around. So the leg is actually tipped back, tipped forward a bit. So our rider needs to be sitting like that. That's the pose we're going to go for. Now, originally, on the original one I did, I pinned it. But I think we're going to be really clever on this. And I think we're going to save ourselves some time and do some green stuffing and a bit of filling. And uh, so I'm not going to bother pinning this, but we will pin this base, uh, this this um, jet bike to a base, sorry. Okay, so let's get the other leg stuck in. And I've got to remember where I put it. There it is. <laughs> This is really, seriously, this is worse than Blue Peter at the moment. And if you don't know what Blue Peter is, uh, for our European and foreign uh, and American, Australian brethren, um, Blue Peter is a program uh, aimed at children. And what they do each week is they show you how to make stuff uh, like, I don't know, Tracy Island for Thunderbirds out of toilet rolls and stuff like that. Um, anyway, so <laughs> it's a little bit like that, um, and it is tough. Um, right, so our legs are in place. Now we need to take our hip section and upper upper thighs, uh, and we just need to put a bit of glue on that. And we're now going to place that on our bike. Okay. Now, there's many ways of doing this. You're going to have your ways. I've got mine. <laughs> and uh, and uh, hopefully the twain shall meet. Um, now, you notice that the boots are slightly wider. But that's not too bad. You're not going to notice. You won't notice too much anyway. Okay, so I've also saved the knee pads. You can see there. So they just need a bit of cleaning. I'm going to clean them up. Then we'll come back to um, this in a second. I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, soft drink, anything you like. And I'll meet you back here in a couple of seconds. All right, bye. Okay, so hopefully by now you've had your fruit juice, cup of tea, coffee, uh, or any other cold beverage that you're looking to have. Anyway, so look, now what I've done is I've just green stuffed around. So it's not the prettiest green stuff at the moment, but if I just do that, okay, this is giving you the general idea. So I've just green stuff around the legs. Now I've used the original knee pads, just put them in place. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide a multiple of sins right now with packaging. Or, as I like to call it, garnish. Um, now, obviously, it's a pain in the backside if you're no good at green stuffing. And, you know, you don't always get the best result if you don't know what you're doing. So, you can hide a lot of stuff. So, I would just use the green stuffing just to fill in the gaps. Um, if you don't want to use... Um, the knee pads and you can use something else okay so look this is what I mean by garnishing okay so there we have the leg there okay so I'm going to take a bit of super glue and I'm just going to go off camera for a second while I just cut this off because I don't want to cut my thumb off 
and we'll just cut that bit off there. That is sharp. Um, you have to be very careful with these blades, fellas. And obviously, to those, I'm not trying to say to suck eggs. I had a rather nasty accident not long ago where I sliced through my thumb and ended up in the hospital. Oops, sorry. Right, I'm just gluing some stuff right now. Okay, so look, we want to hide some of this horrible green stuffing. So what I'm going to do is, on the side, I'm going to stick in that, which is okay. Now, if I want to stick anything else on there, um, you can do, you can just hide stuff. So on this side, I've got a blast blaster or pistol. I'll just take that off. Excuse me, I'm just going to take off a bit of that there. Right, so I've got a bolt pistol or blaster or las, las pistol, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it's a las pistol. Okay, we'll just put that on there. And then what we'll do is, it's quite a large, large shape, so it should be able to hide quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so look, if you don't want the green stuff, you can hide a hell of a lot of stuff with garnishing, okay? So, right, there we have our Space Marine bottom legs. They're all in place. Obviously, I'll probably go back later and clean that up once it starts to tack dry. Um, but we're getting somewhere now. Now, there's the next best bit. Because it's pre-heresy, we don't have any aquilas on the chest, so I've just shaved off that. Uh, and I'm doing this all very quickly because I'm supposed to be doing stuff tonight, so I'm trying to get all this finished and post it up so you guys can see it all and then what I'll do is tomorrow I'll move on to other videos and we can do some other stuff um, right so there's our upper body and I'm just gonna stick the upper body to the legs and so that goes there. Now I'm going to give him a slight tilt on this one. So I just want to make sure that obviously that reaches. That's fantastic. So look, straight away we know that that arm's going to reach. And I may even. Okay, that arm's slightly out. But that's not too bad because we can hide that with a shoulder pad. But I might even have that arm down. Give it a bit of a different style to it. Maybe replace the arm. Oops, replace the arm with something else. Okay, so I'm going to get this guy all stuck together. Um, we know what we're doing now. We've seen how it's put together. We know that the legs. We know that the legs work. Um, obviously, there's just a bit of cleaning up I've got to do on the legs. And uh, I'll be back with you in a few seconds. And uh, we'll have a look at the finished piece and then we'll talk about how we're going to pin it. Okay, so I'll see you in a few seconds. Right then, so here we are. It's the final stage now, it's just pinning your jet bike to your base. Now, like the other one, I'll just quickly show you again. I set my base up and I put a statue on it because I wanted it higher and off the ground and I wanted it in a position where it was flying along. So we've now got our jet bike, uh, it's all done. We've added our garnish. Now the garnish is everything that you want to add onto it that shouldn't come with it like ammo packs, uh, pistols in holsters, more packs on the bike. Uh, helmet hanging off the side because this guy, this guy hasn't got a helmet on uh, and you, I might even put a shovel on there because obviously the uh, the guys of the Imperial Fist are siege masters apparently so a shovel I think is quite adept for them okay so I want to stick this onto this and again I'm going to have it angled because I kind of like the angled look and it gives a sense of it flying along with it at a fast speed so we're going to pin it. Now, you've been waiting for ages for 
me to say that's what this is for so this is what this is for um, and that's your paper clip so we take our pinning drill we will now tighten it up because that helps um, and what we're going to do is we're going to drill at an angle into our base and you can do this for anything you can do it for land speed if you want to show land speed is flying along um, oh on a not a games workshop topic does anybody play DC Universe online because I just bought it and I'm really enjoying it fantastic game I did buy uh, the new uh, Dawn of War but I just got to say it is so boring and I've completed it already uh, and I'm quite gutted about that because the last one was brilliant okay so I'm going to put my paper clip in there just to make sure it fits which it does so there's my paper clip I might actually go a little bit deeper actually nothing when we're going a little bit deeper uh, for now for now um, and what we're going to do is if I can get it in the hole story of my life sorry about this fellas nearly there let's just get rid of the, the crap on there okay so we're going to go a little bit deeper with it make sure we're all happy there we go I think that's better um, now you can use anything on your base I'm just using a bit of crap that I've got left laying around basically uh, always looks good right I'm quite happy about that's nice and deep so I'm going to cut off about that much there we go so let's put that to one side right there's our base now we need to work out where we're going to pin it from so I'm thinking I'm going to pin it about about there Right, so I'll go into this. Uh, now this is going to be easy to go through because obviously we've, we green stuff this earlier. So that should just go right through like it is. There we go. No worries whatsoever with that. Now the, the cool crux of it will be actually getting it in that hole. Otherwise I could have just poked it in. Okay. So, this is where we're going to put it. So, I'll just take the background off there. Okay, so it's going to be there. So, basically, fellas, that is the crux of it. That is, that is how you pin, and that is how you build your jet bike, and that is what it will be when it's finished. So, I hope that helps. And if I put it back to them, put the another one next to it there. Uh, Hope that helps, and uh, I will speak to you again very soon. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.